I know this um, look is completely like a day late, but whatever. In Miami, people are still going out. People are still partying. This is how we do it. We still party throughout the probably the entire month of January, if anything. But um, I'm glad that you made it to 2016 if you're watching this video. Apparently, it's called Week 16, which is so cute. So um, I really wanted to do um, a really festive kind of look. Um, like slightly glitterish, not really, but really bold and brave because that is my theme for 2016. Eyeshadow base and the color is tan. So we're just painting this all over the lid. Make sure it's even. The second um, base I'm using is. Um, color tattoo by Maybelline, and this is what it looks like in the back. This is the back, I'm sorry. And the color is what are you? Bad to the bronze. I like using this when I'm doing this particular bronze color look. Yeah, so again, same thing, just putting this all over the lid. Not all over, but like one third. Now for the fun part, I'm going into shadows. I'm going to first start off with um, a transition and I like some, I haven't used this in a while, but I just use it on my face. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Looks like that. And the front, of course, the front and dark deep. I'm using the Morphe 505, M505 brush. It's like a fluffy, tapered blending brush. We're just going to blend that into the crease. And we're using this as our transition. To warm up the eyes, I'm going to use CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer. It is my holy grail. It's the bronzer I use on my face. I'm going to take that same Morphe blending brush. And we're going to put this on our crease, outer portion of our crease, and blend. Now we're blending to the brow bone. So I'm open up that eye a little bit more. The Morphe brush is matte neutral palette. Um, it's palette 35, and I just made it so I know what I'm grabbing. And this is what it looks like here. And we're going to build up the warmth and the browns and the darkness in the eye. So we're going to start with this brown at the end using a 4 pm 5 m 5 m 433 Um, fluffy brush helps get in the crease. So I'm taking that brown color on the outer portions of my eye and I'm tr I'm carving my crease at the same time so I'm like blending and carving and blending and carving I'm gonna go back into that fluffy brush with no products and we're just going to blend out those harsh lines that we may have created for now, we're going to take a break on defining our crease. It's a little bit defined for us to move on to the lid color. So, for as the base for the lid color's Morphe Brushes palette, it is palette 35B. And it looks like this. So, we're going to place this color in padding motion. We're really carving that lid out. White Morphe brush and then just blend 
the demarcation lines out. I'm gonna go into this pressed pigment. I don't wanna tip it over, but it's called, it's by Beauty Madison Street. They're no longer in business, unfortunately, but it's a really pretty pigment. And um, the color is called Gold Leaf. And we're gonna pat this on my eyelid slowly because it is a pigment. And pigments create a beautiful mess. So. First I'm gonna use it dry and then I will use the gold pigment wet. Now we're gonna go back into defining the crease just a little bit more so this gold can stand out. So now we're gonna go back to the first powder that we used. We're gonna go and mix this dark brown and this black, matte black together with the white brush we were using for Morphe brushes. We're just going to slowly define that crease a little bit more. paper brush and we're just slightly blending the edges. We want to keep that sharpness where it is. I'm sorry, it's not the Morphe. This is a MAC 224. <laughs> so for the bottom, we're going to use that matte black that I showed you earlier. We want to smoke this bottom eye out. <laughs> So with a small brush, help us go underneath that. Out, we're going to water our line with Inglot um, gel liner number 77. To create a little bit more drama, we're gonna drop it where that black eyeshadow is, just a little bit. mascara and lashes. I stacked my lashes. Well, let me start with the mascaras. I use my two go-to mascaras. This one, this first one is by NYX Full Figured. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, NYX Full Figured. And I use that, um, doused it, my bottom lashes with this. And also, my ultimate favorite, the Miss Manga Voluminous, Voluminous Waterproof. Um, and I used that on my bottom and my top. The lashes that I stacked is from Royal Crown Lashes. And the style that I use is Amage. I think that's how you pronounce it. I forgot her Instagram, um, but I will drop it right her so you can see. So you guys can go and follow and also her information will be down in the description box description box but she has awesome lashes and they're very affordable you can get a lot of wear out of them and so I also stacked it with um, kiss lashes and number 11 they look like wispy lashes but they're just really really dramatic um, and really for eyes that are almond shaped like mine that can handle all the drama so I really wanted a dramatic eye look and can't have a dramatic eyeshadow look without dramatic lashes. So yeah. <laughs> so we're moving on to lips. This lip will look perfect with a nude. If you're a nude type of person, if you if you have drama on the eyes and you don't want drama on the lips, nude is your best friend. Um, soft pink would look good with it. Um, your own skin tone. You can just put on foundation and put lip gloss on top if you want to do that. But we're gonna play it differently. So we're gonna go with um, Milani and their matte collection is called Matte Glam. And this is the color here, which goes perfectly with this dramatic eye I got going on. So I'm just gonna slap that on. And I'm going to use a liner. 
just to like, give more definition. A little brand kind of thing. Lip pencils, just a dark burgundy. Super gorgeous and a look you should definitely go out tonight and all of January hell <laughs> and rock this look. So I really, really hope that you like kicks. And close my eyes so you can see. I'm so excited. I haven't done a dramatic look in so long. It's always been, you know, kind of friendly to everybody that really doesn't really know how to put on makeup like that but I mean that's also great but I really wanted to cater to somebody that is brave and bold since that is my um, subject or theme for this new year so yeah I really really hope that you like it so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being a subscriber and still a subscriber um, I really thank you so much for that and have a good sweet 16.